Okay, a 1783, we get the black pieces. Welcome to day 208 on my journey to 2000 ELO on chess.com. As you know, I'm going to play the Karo Khan against e4. Okay, we get a strange move. I don't typically see the knight here. I guess you, you see it in this order all the time. But it does give me this move. Which I wonder about. Because the opponent never played d4. This is really weird. So if I pin the knight, he's forced to go into the exchange. Which I kind of like. Does he want to do an exchange anyway? Let's do that. I could be stubborn here. So if I'm stubborn about it, then he gets his pawns down the board quickly. Um, he still, I feel like, has to take the pawn and go into the exchange variation, which might not be what he wants to play. I honestly don't care what variation I get. If this was an exchange, would I drop the bishop back? Probably not. So it'll be a crazy game if I decide not to, to take. Wait, what am I saying anyway? Because I gotta, if I take the pawn, he just takes anyway. I'll just do this. Whatever, just take here. It's fine. Interesting. He takes with the queen. I think that's a mistake. Why take with the queen? It just lets me develop for free with tempo. Knight seemed more natural because. In that situation, I at least have to double my pawns if I want to play knight f6. <clears throat> what is this? What? I mean... Okay. So, opponent wants to take here. I'm kind of tempted to just, just like, go on a development. Um, spree. So if I develop the knight, he takes the pawn, and I chase the queen. He can take another pawn, but I'm getting my pieces out quickly. I could also play e6, he takes the pawn, then I develop the knight. I could play a normal move like queen c7. I think that's fine too. Queen c7. I don't know what he does there. Maybe even queen c8. Which one makes more sense? c7 or c8? c7 probably, so the bishop can't come here. Actually, if I go c7, the bishop can come there. So maybe queen c8 is better. I could go queen b6, but... Um, I don't really care for trading pawns or trading queens here. Uh, I think queen c8 makes a lot of sense. Queen c8 it is. Just a strange spot to move the queen. I'm convinced my opponent is not comfortable, uh, or at least not familiar with this line. Oh, actually, I did have queen c7 because bishop f4 was met with e5 with tempo. But then he can take on b. If he takes... No, 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 no. No, that didn't work. I was going to say if I take the bishop on, like if he takes e5, but, but if I take it, it's with check. So I did have queen c7. 
I should have ran that line through in my brain. Queen c7 made a lot more sense. So let's do this. Let's do a simple, like, hey, let's, what are you going to do about this, you know, type of move. And I guess the point is that I could, I could simply go b5. b5 looks good. So the point is if I put the knight here, he does have some weird tactics. But I think I just develop the bishop. Probably bishop c4 is best. But let's look at b5. b5. Then I can put the knight on d7. <clears throat> b5 probably goes back. I could save b5 though. I could play bishop d6 or bishop c5. Bishop c5 seems slightly loose, but it is the most active square for my bishop. But if I go b5, do I have c4? Where does that knight go? Oh, it depends on where the bishop goes, I guess. I could push his queen all the way back. So if I go b5 and then a5, I have the idea of going a4 and then bringing my knight out here. Let's go bishop d6. And then I want to, I think I want to castle. I think he's going to castle. <clears throat> he doesn't castle. Interesting. the idea here he wants to get his bishop out all right i think i have a simple plan here i'm gonna go b5 threaten the bishop he moves the bishop i bring the knight to the center if he takes the knight i take the bishop and have tempo on the queen Knight to the center seems good. Mm, this is kind of sketchy. So I think I go here because I'm threatening to trap the queen if he doesn't make an escape square for the queen. Or I simply just go here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's go here and then reserve a5. I want to play a5 though. Looks natural. I do potentially want to get a knight to the center. <clears throat> I'm just worried about if I put my knight in the center and I have to take with either. So if I take with the c pawn, I drop b. And if I take with the e pawn, it does open my queen up a little bit. But then I have this really weak backward c pawn. What a what a strange move here. I don't know why he's not castling. So it drives me nuts. What's going on? I guess I don't really ha I don't have a queen trap anymore that his knight moves. His knight moved. Oh, oh ah, I just did a mouse slip again and hung my rook. That's okay. Why did I do that? I was trying to make an arrow and had a brain fart. Oh, wow. He didn't take my rook. Okay. So I, I attacked the Queen again, I think, or I go. Hmm. So he wants to take my pawn, which I'm totally fine with, actually. I can attack the queen real quick. I think that's the smart thing to do, because if he takes the pawn, the queen is still hanging, and then I have, the queen just moves, I guess. I don't know. I've done a a real uh, piece. Of, done a real. <laughs> masterpiece here. Now I have to find my way through this stupid position. I think I'd rather lose the pawn than the, the rook though. So it ma makes sense for him to take real quick. I scoop my king over and then he like he just moves the queen and then I'll just move my rook. <clears throat> but then I can attack the queen once more potentially. 
Yeah, so if I attack the queen, he can take here. But it's not with check. And that's dangerous because I win his bishop. And his queen is aligned with his king. This is kind of a wacky game. I don't know what's going on here. He can take the pawn, but I'm taking his bishop. Oh, uh, okay. I did not see that. That sucks. Why am I missing all these moves? Get everything off of light squares. <laughs> I, I'm just, this is garbage. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Um, I need to find a way. Uh, I'm just, I'm just getting trounced here. I actually don't know what to do. It feels a little bit ridiculous. The, the position I've got myself into. It's the same thing. I, I, I blundered a, a pawn move again. I wish I had two moves. Well, I'm losing that pawn anyway, so I think instead of letting him take another pawn, so check moves. I don't want him to check here. So I need to move this knight here. So do I move it here? I think another defender by my king makes a lot of sense. Well, it makes complete sense because he's about to have threats of checkmate. I don't know. I don't know why I got myself into this mess. If I can find my way out of it, that would be amazing. But I don't think it's in the cards. Why did I... I need to stop drawing arrows. I just need to stop drawing arrows. I need to talk like a, a regular chess player. Does that actually work? I guess so. No, because I can move over. I can slide over. It's not looking good for me, though. It is not looking good. I'm only down a point of material, but this is ridiculous. I see the problem now. I'm going to get checked all over the board, aren't I? This is just atrocious. I should have moved there, too. Huh. How did it get destroyed in, like, ten moves? I don't know why I'm playing like this, honestly. I guess we uh we open up the opponent's king, huh? Whoa. Really? All right, let's think about this. I'm going to take the pawn. It's possible I should have positioned my queen first, but I really don't have a lot of options here. Yeah, I thought that would happen. No. I want to do this. I want to just maybe open up. Okay, so I want to now take this pawn. I have some ideas. Ideas. Brewing around here. Ideas are kicking around in my head. I want to take the bishop, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I think opponent noticed that the bishop would have been hanging no matter where you moved it. Now the question is, where do I put my king? Hmm. 
C6 is my gut feeling. But I don't know. Let's go to C6. I'm this I'm already lost here. My only hope is to somehow swindle a checkmate out of this guy. I could go here. Maybe take the pawn first. And force him out and then start checking. Oop, he just takes the what is the point here? He wants to check. I don't know. He's eliminating eliminating counterplay. He probably come here. And he has this queen to block with. Doesn't really have issues with potentially getting back ranked or anything like that, so. Mm. He just blocks there. I could check here, but I don't, that doesn't really do anything. Maybe I will check anyway. Because blocking with the rook seems like it might be the most the best. Oh, then I can just go here. And his queen blocks. I just have to find a way to either do a perpetual or get his queen out of position. Like his queen is too good down here. Okay. So no checks, but is this really how it ends here? I don't really have a great square for my rook. Do I have time for that? I don't think I have time for anything like that. Where's his checks at? He's got to check here. I could just hang my rook real quick. And then if he takes, I have this. He can't block with the rook because I just take it. But then if he does let me take it, I don't really have any good, more good checks. He just comes up. And I can't check him. So my point was, if he takes my rook, I go here and I just go back. And then when he blocks with the queen, I go back. But then he, he goes back here. And then if I check again here, he just moves here, queen blocks. I might get a repetition out of that. A4, A3 seems very slow. I don't, I don't know how I protect my king. And I still can't checkmate there. If I play rook g8 and the queen takes, do I have a perpetual there? I don't know. I think I'm lost, but I'm going to try the... I, I think he's got me, but I'm going to try this. The good thing about limiting myself to one game a day is on days like today when it's just like... I just make such bad moves i don't dig myself into a hole i used to do that i would get off camera and then play a bunch of like a couple more games or at least one more game and just keep losing and it's it's so hard mentally to play a game like this on a camera and upload it for everyone to see and to not want to miss like correct that miss like correct that mistake um, off camera or like play a game where you actually feel good about it. It's hard to do that. I have to wait 24 hours, but that's, it's part of the point is, is what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So opponent does not like the potential for perpetual. I can go here maybe, but then he just takes the rook. So my only option is to trade everything except for the bishop. It's the only good option. Actually, I don't think this fundamentally changes anything, does it? Does it? Because 
Wait, no, it does because I don't have a perpetual. If a queen takes the rook. So if I like, if I just move my king, for example, and the queen takes the rook, I no longer have a perpetual because the king can make it to c1 and I can't check the king on c1. Or I could, but then once the king gets to d2, can I still check? Not really. Oh, wait, I have queen f4, but then the queen comes back. So if the king gets to c1, for example, and I go queen f4 check, then the queen on d8 comes back to block on d2. This sucks. Well, I have to try it. Because I'm losing anyway. I'm losing anyway. I don't care. Take my rook. I have to try, even though I don't see a perpetual in my head. I miss a lot of things, so. Just going to be a slow and brutal checkmate. Or probably quick and easy, actually. <laughs> Once I run out of the checks. Hopefully he takes with the rook, because then I think my dream is still alive. He's probably like, what the heck is this guy doing? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I mean, I have to try. I'm going to run out of checks here. It's just unfortunate. Yeah, this is just losing. I can win the bishop, but who cares? I'm going to get checkmated. I thought, I think that's kind of weird. Hmm. I kind of have to check here again, though. Then he just blocks with the rook, and I don't have any more. Well, actually, I can check here. Then he blocks again. I don't know. Let's keep the checking dream alive. Winning the bishop doesn't matter at all. This doesn't make any sense. None of this does. Oh, he can just slip away. Slip away into the night. Let him go. I'm bested. I mean, I don't know. This is... I'm going to get checkmated in a couple moves here. Do your worst, man. Checkmate me. Eight, right? Also, this is mate, probably. Oh, uh, that's mate too. There's like a billion mates there. Good game to my opponent. Another mouse slip, another game down the drain, but it is what it is. I got, you saw the video yesterday. If you watched it yesterday, I got basically a free win yesterday. So I have no room to com complain at all. 90.1, good, good game I, my, or by my opponent. So let's look at the opening because I don't think... So knight c3 is the second most played move, I guess. I don't see it often. So 
So just playing e6 is actually better here. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Not letting... I think taking with the queen, though, is a mistake. Yeah, knight takes is better. So queen b6, I think, is kind of not a great move, but... Or queen b4, I mean. And then it says queen c7, queen d7. So I did have queen c7, and then it... Um, actually, the bishop can't even come out there. I don't know what I was on about. That's best. So what's my best move? c5. c5 to prevent d4, apparently, because d4 was one of the ideas here. Bishop d3. Bishop f5 is what was played. Castles, bishop d3 are best. Knight b to d7. b5 is the second best move, though. Knight b to d7 now. Knight takes e4. h6 is best. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I know why I played. See, this is another mouse slip blunder. I was looking at it because I thought, okay, if I play, I was going to draw an arrow and just say, you know, this looks pretty good, blah, blah, blah. But I then I didn't want to actually play it. It's just like, a, it's a move that comes to mind. And then I was, should have immediately ruled it out, but I didn't. Thankfully, opponent misses that. Plays queen d3. Queen e4. Okay, so f5 is like... <laughs> I thought I had something, but then he has uh, this move here. I should have played rook f6, I guess. So I, it, it struck me as odd that he didn't, play, he didn't take the pawn here. But I guess it's not as good. You don't control this square. That's the important thing. And the rest is just history, you know. So I have we have d5 to just and that makes sense. I would I making the other rook make or bringing the other rook makes sense too. I actually looked at e5 to close down the position and also lock the queen out of this. I didn't think he would take with the queen, though, because to me, even if you take with the king or move the king, like it's not really that bad. Like just moving the king over, and that's what the engine thinks. My idea here was if he took this pawn, I was going to consider giving this check. And then the rook has to come up and block. And if because if he doesn't, then I skewer right here. But I'm basically I'm just lost anyway. So taking the I didn't really see him sacking the exchange, but it's actually a really good idea. It just makes it so hard to have counterplay. Yeah, I mean, the game is just lost, but I was going for... This doesn't even work, it looks like. This is what I was going for. It's got to go up and I go here. But then he just has this, and I don't have any more checks. I didn't calculate that right. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? You just lose sometimes. So sucks, but thank you for watching. And thanks. Uh, um, yeah, if you're still here, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.